Hi guys, thanks for joining me. My name's Daniel, and in this video, I'll be showing you how easy it is to configure your PHP in Zen Server. Zen Server gives you a reliable, tested, and updated stack with over 80 of the most popular PHP extensions and libraries. So whether on Apache, IIS, or Nginx, your PHP will run seamlessly on almost any operating system and in any environment, whether in development or production. What are PHP extensions? Basically the sets of instructions that add functionality to your PHP. Extensions can also be employed to reuse frequently used code. You can place a set of functions into one extension and instruct your projects to utilize it. Another use for PHP extensions is to optimize efficiency and speed and some processor intensive functions can be better coded as an extension rather than as straight PHP code. All your PHP extensions, those installed by Zen Server and those added by you to the PHP INI file are listed on the PHP page under the configurations tab. The extensions list can be sorted by name or status. Built-in extensions are compiled into the Zen Server PHP stack and are therefore always loaded. Extensions appearing as loaded or off are shipped with Zen Server and can be turned off or on, depending on their status. Selecting an extension from the list will display the expanded view, which contains all the extensions PHP directives, if there are any of course. Global directives that don't belong to a specific extension have been conveniently grouped according to their theme. So for example, all the directives related to errors and logs are located in the error handling and logging group. If you're looking for a specific directive, the best way to locate it is using the search box. Once located, changing a directive is super easy. Use the various configuration controls to enter your desired value. Whether it's a value field, a slide control, or a drop-down menu. Once you've performed the desired change, save it using the Save button in the Action Bar. This will save the changes in your PHP INI file and the blueprint. To apply the change to your web server, you'll be required to restart Zen Server. Enabling and disabling extensions is just as easy. Select the extension from the list. You can also select more than one extension if you like. And in the action bar, click Enable or Disable. In a clustered environment, and like all of Zen Server's management actions, any change you make to your stack is immediately applied across the board on all the servers in your cluster. Now, if changes are made to your stack via the file system, Zen Server will notify you of a configuration mismatch, meaning that the configuration stored in its central blueprint on the database contradict the directives in the file system. Clicking Details sends us to the Servers page, where we can decide whether to apply the new configurations to the servers, or keep the current configurations as they are. That's it for now, thanks for watching. To understand why Zen Server is much more than just a PHP stack, please check out the other featured videos and tutorials available on the videos page of the Zen Server Online Help. Enjoy!